in, in Canada, and it's the same, everywhere I go, there will be women held up by liberal men, by men on the left, by liberal women, by women on the left, as human shields to protect the right of men to abuse women in this way. They will say, but look, here she is. She likes her work. She's happy doing this. And she is the human shield that every, every single country uses. He is invisible, and we need to make him visible. I've seen the debates here in Canada. I've heard about them from Vancouver to Quebec, all around with abolitionists, some sex trade survivors, telling me about the debates and about how it shifted. And the debate is now about the woman's right to sell sex. It's no more, hardly ever, about the man who does not and should not have the right to abuse women in this way. And it is a much more palatable argument to think that this is just about this woman choosing to do what she wants with her own body. I won't debate women who say they are happy sex workers. I won't argue against another woman who is saying that there is no problem with prostitution. I insist upon arguing with a man who supports it because then you have to get him to say that this is something he thinks men have the right to do because they always do. And this is what they think. And there are also women who use their class and race privilege to look at other women as though they are only deserving of prostitution. And we need to challenge that. And the last point I want to make is about using any opportunity that you might have to educate the media, to use any funding, any opportunity, any contacts to talk to the media and to break down the ignorance and prejudice that they carry around with them on this issue. The majority of the media in my country, and I read your media and, well, some of it, clearly not the French papers, but it's the same. They adopt language that they think dignifies the women. They use sex work. They use manager when they mean pimp. Businessmen when they mean brothel owners. And we need to get the media to understand there is a reason why this language is highly problematic and contributes to the problem.